to want you. Of course I want you. And what are we going to do? <laughs> Stayed on the river. <laughs> <laughs> to hell with it. A Joshua! A Joshua! Who's there? Only me, sir. Got a gun now, have you? Yes, sir. Where's Clyde? Going around the boundaries, sir. Have you checked there's nobody in the barns? Yes, sir. Would you like to go into a barn and fuck? <laughs> That's not an order. That's all right, yes. No. <laughs> I am broken hearted. Broken hearted. She's going to marry Inkwell. No. No. Not while I live. It must be. Come with me. I'll tell you. Alone. Not while I live. Wait, 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 wait. wait, 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 wait. Mr. Ruler, you will uh, too easily. Wait, I remember a precious line that I cut from my last ear plate. It's perfectly played. Yes. No novelty one of an incontestably original. I am coming back. Well, I am coming back. Yes, sir. I am coming back. There's no yes, sir, in it. <laughs> no, sir. Yeah. You wish to take a few minutes and commit to memory now that we are reaching the climax of what a few interruptions and references to the book as possible. I think I have it, sir. Cue, please, Mr. Ivory. <clears throat> uh, come with me. I'll tell you. Alone. No, not while I live. I am coming back. I am coming back. I am coming back. <laughs> I'm agitated. Come to ask for money. I'm not going to give it to him. Um, what is it, my beauty? <laughs> you see, Honor Stepanich. God, Stepan Honorich. Damn, I'm dreadfully agitated, as you see. Uh, in short, no one but you can assist me, and though I've done nothing to deserve it, and have no right to reckon upon your assistance, oh, but don't I'm... spit it out, dearie. Uh, come to the point. Well, immediately, in a moment. The fact is that I have come to ask for the hand of your daughter, Natalia Stepanovna. Oh, you precious darling, Ivan Vasilevich. Say it again. I, I have the honor to ask you for the I'm hand of... I'm delighted, darling, and all the rest of it. Yes, indeed, and all that sort of thing. I have always hoped for it. It is always my wish. <laughs> I have always loved you, my angel, as though you were my own son. God, you keep it. I heard you. Find you up here. So you found me, Harry. I want to be alone. Oh, Chrissy. Marlon. I know I'm drunk. I have to talk to you. I'll tell you why I'm so perverse with you. I have to talk to you because you make me sick. You don't waste because you remind me of me. Not like you. Oh, honey. I don't know where you are. You can only go so long in and out of all those houses. With that maternal death vulture? Without finding yourself on the wrong street? You're on the wrong street. Oh, Chrissy. Don't tell me I haven't heard the little voices. Okay. I want to eat now. That's not the deal. Have you ever been in the Navy? Did you ever land in Liverpool Street? Did you ever get on a train? Go to your street? You're confusing me with you. I went to my street and I heard that. Psst. I 
an extra ten years of cold room you know what you've got. You wait till you start to drink or sniff or whatever the shit you're gonna do. You wait for the caffeine fits and the tachycardia as you go down that street. You said I was on the street. You bet your ass you're on the street. You wait till you've got the weakness in your legs. The night pressing against you. And the neuralgia shooting inside of your face. <laughs> it makes you think I don't feel anything now. You think I don't hurt now? <laughs> oh, the psychosomatic epiphenomena. Do you hear me, you shit? I can love you now, you know. I can love. Really love you now. Huh?